Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. Richard, Francia's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override the manually. From up in the tower. I got it. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Panchea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. 
For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. You think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Even as I listen to your words, I realize a cruel truth. No one else has the vision to see what I've seen, the will to do what I have done. You're all too weak, judging but never acting. None of you have the moral courage to see this through to its conclusion. Well, so be it. You want us to see what you see, fine. Our humanity is threatened because technology is messing with our minds. But how can we recognize this message when we're grieving over the people you forced us to leave behind? Friends and neighbors, people we care about. Is the image of their murders the vision you want us to have? I have shown humanity the price of its complacency. The price of pride and arrogance. If people don't have the wherewithal to put aside their emotions and recognize that, I don't give a damn what vision they see. Quite frankly, I don't even know why I'm listening to you. There's nothing you can say I haven't said to myself at one point or another. The difference, Mr. Jensen, is that I know people like you need this wake-up call. You will never freely give up your augments. Your desire for their power blinds you to the danger you put humanity in. People like me? You mean not like you? You changed the world when you invented this technology, but your creation is leaving you behind. And as long as it's allowed to continue, mankind will use it to evolve without you. Until the father of tomorrow is known as yesterday's man. I never asked for that title, Mr. Jensen. But I will not be ashamed of it now. Your body accepts augmentations easily. So easily it's like a disease eating you up inside, making you crave more. While mine... Mine rejects them completely. Yet the desire is still there, every day. No, Mr. Jensen, I do not envy you. I understand you. I understand the lengths men will go to obtain what God never wanted us to have. It is why we must see this through to the end. You can't have the future, so no one can, is that it? Open your eyes, Darrow. Look at what your obsession is doing to the world. When all of this is over, Nothing will be left but anarchy and fear, smoldering in the ashes of burning cities. How can anything be rebuilt from that? No, that's not... that's not what I wanted. There must be something left, some hope of renewal. Because without hope, there is nothing. I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining and lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. The codes should help you shut down the Hyron project, Panchea's security. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. Go, go, go!
Things considered, yeah. You okay? Thankfully, I was able to barricade myself in here when things got out of control. So, is it safe to come out now? No. The rest of the station is still under siege. You better stay here until help comes. In the meantime, is it possible to download Praxis software here? Yes, of course. No damage was done to the computers. See for yourself. I will remain here, where it's safe. If you need help, or get word of help, please come back. This is William Taggart. If anyone out there is listening, I'm begging you, help. We've barricaded ourselves inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please, save us. Please, save us. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation, rules governing how the technology is developed, and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves, like, like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will. 
But I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. All of this is as much your fault as it is Darrow's. You and your cabal. Perhaps. But all we sought was a safety valve, Mr. Jensen. A means of making sure the world would never spin out of control. The potential of this technology is great, but as we've seen, its potential for destruction is even greater. Your doomsday scenario doesn't impress me. You'd say anything to stay in power. Do you think humanity will simply police itself? We do not live in some Eden, Mr. Jensen. Or are you that much like your boss, David Seraph, who envisions a world where everyone is enhanced and suddenly they all love each other? There will always be a need for methods of control. And conveniently, in your future, the Illuminati will hold the reins. Not directly. There are organizations already in place that are better equipped to handle certain things. The UN, for instance. Reimagine, no doubt. At least somewhat. And this technology will be a great part of it. Imagine, Mr. Jensen, a world governed by common principles. The end to international power struggles, to terrorism. These things can be accomplished if you join us. Thank God you came. I've got wounded here. We'll have to move them first. We can't move anyone yet. Not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities. And Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh my God, you... We gotta fix this, Adam. If people realize what's happened, if they believe augmentation technology created this chaos, they'll ban human enhancement research forever. And that would be a bad thing? Yes, it would! Don't you see what's at stake here? Ever since man first crawled out of that ocean, we've been striving to be more than we are. Augmentation technology is just the latest, greatest step on a very long road. But we've barely scratched the surface of its potential. We can't let fear stop us from continuing. That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. And if we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. 
Nah, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son. You have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. You've got no remorse about using me at all, do you? I never used you, son. You experimented with my DNA without telling me. Ah. Uh, Adam. This is difficult. Listen. Megan. Megan came to me with the sample. When she showed me her finding, when I saw, when we saw the incredible potential of super compatibility... You just had to share it with the world. Adam, think about it. Would you have been able to do any of the things you've done without enhancements? Huh? Most people's bodies aren't as accepting of this technology as yours is. Sharing your DNA makes it possible for us to be like you. How can you deny us that chance? Who said I would deny it? You stole my DNA and lied to me. You didn't give me the choice. I'm giving it to you now, Adam. Look, I admit it, I haven't done things the best way. But don't punish the world to spite me. Daryl wants us to live in the Dark Ages. The Illuminati wants to limit evolution to those they control. You and me, we... Don't group me with you, Seraph. I'll make my own choices from here. I believe that, son. And I believe you'll make the right ones. <laughs>